What's going on? Welcome back to JB1050. And today we'll quickly just touch upon what we all saw at the Elimination Chamber pay per view. Now, if you don't, you didn't see you Live Under a Rock or you don't watch wrestling, you're trying to get right back into it. Let me recap you real quick. We're on the road to WrestleMania. Ronda Rousey is going on to fight Charlotte. Um, Bianca Belair is going on to face Becky Lynch. Brock Lesnar is going to face Roman Reigns in title versus title. A little bit more on that in a second. And then we also have some matches that are, you know, being rumored like Stone Cold coming out of retirement. Yes, Stone Cold Steve Austin to fight Kevin Owens. Also, we're not sure what's going on with Seth Rollins now that Shane McMahon is out, supposedly. Bobby Lashley is also supposed to go on a shelf injury with a shoulder. So, who actually knows? But also, we got some big news in terms of what possibly might happen with the tag team title summer saint usos versus the viking raiders so i just want to go go down with my thoughts i see a lot of people giving their thoughts and i think it'd be good to give my thoughts i am what i call myself more of a a more lenient wrestling fan i know a lot of people whether it's AEW, wwe or tna what whatever i'm sorry impact or whatever they tend to be very harsh and i tend to just let things play out uh, i remember talking to people during the attitude era this booking sucks. This booking sucks. The Rock should be champion. Triple H, Stone Cold, go get Shawn Michaels out of retirement. This this is how it should be, and it ended up working out. So, um, just a quick thought. I, obviously, I believe Roman Reigns versus Goldberg was more of a, mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Like, I mean, Goldberg is he's getting up there in age now, but I mean, Saudi Arabia, we know what happens with the contracts and things like that. So it makes sense why they did it. Plus, it was a match they wanted to happen at WrestleMania a few years ago, but the pandemic clearly got in the way of that. So, I mean, I thought the match was cool. I was I was cool with it. I had no issues with it. Um, let's get right into what people are really talking about, and that is Brock Lesnar winning the title and obviously going on to set up the title versus title match with Roman Reigns. Now, I find it kind of funny how people are upset, and I get it. You may have Brock fatigue or might be tired of seeing him win, but I think we also have to realize that at the end of the day, um, Brock Lesnar sells tickets. Like, it is what it is. Like, whenever he's on Raw, and he's been on Raw quite a bit, so a lot of the, you know, part-time thing like that i mean he's been there but also you gotta remember like the ratings go up when he's there ticket sales go up when he's there um it just is what it is but also on the flip side you guys gotta remember bobby lashley is hurt so and i don't know if they plan to have bobby lashley be a part of the match or whatever but i think we do have to recognize that he's hurt like he's literally hurt there's nothing they can do he has to have shoulder, shoulder surgery he got hurt at the Royal rumble which is why he hasn't fought since and i'm like okay cool i mean eh. But I mean, I feel for him because he's been working his ass off ever since the ever since the whole you know Almighty era started. So I do feel for him, but I just think that it's one of those things that it happens. It's unfortunate. Kind of reminds me of when Seth Rollins had an amazing run with the title and it got hurt, I believe, in 2015. And it just is what it is. Um, as for title versus title at WrestleMania, I like I said, do I really want to see what I'm calling Brock versus Reigns? I believe five now in terms of a major pay per view event. Uh, no, I really probably don't want to see it, but I get it. It's title versus title. Now, if they unify the titles, then I'm all for it. It makes sense. Have your two best, biggest stars fight for it. I'm cool with that. Um, but I mean, it'd probably be a good match. Reigns is on the top of his game. Like he's never been before. Lesnar seems like he's having the most fun and he's a beast in the ring. It is what it, what it is guys. Um, as in terms of Stone Cold versus coming out of retirement to fight Kevin Owens. Now, I think this could be very cool, um, mainly for Kevin Owens. Now, personally, I'm probably the biggest, one of the biggest Stone Cold fans you'll ever see. But I do understand that he's also, I believe, 59 years old or 57 or one of the two. I forgot which one. And it, you know, I understand that a lot of people may not want to see him wrestle. They might be fearful for uh, him getting hurt and things like that. I'm more of the mindset of he'll, he'll be fine. Like Kevin Owens, I stand near his idol. So um, he'll take good care of him. Kevin Owens doesn't seem to really like hurt a bunch of pe people in the ring, at least from what I've been told. I don't think he hurts a bunch of people in the ring. So we'll see what it is with that one. Um, Ronda Rousey versus Charlotte. Now, I think that's going to be a hard hitting match. I love what they did at the Survivor Series a few years back, obviously ended in DQ. And I always thought they were going to come back to this match. So I thought that was kind of dope. Um, I do, but I always thought they was going to come right back to the match. So I'm kind of glad that, that they did. Could be hard hitting. Um, I do like Ronda. I don't hate on her like a lot of people do. Charlotte, even though, I, again, fatigue and a lot of people get tired of seeing her. She's one of the best they have. So, of course, they're going to use her. 
Bianca Belair and Becky Lynch. Now, obviously, this storyline goes back to SummerSlam when Becky Lynch made her shocking return. And I thought that was dope. But now it's time for Bianca to get the title back. And I think I think this is I think fans should be happy to see it. Although I'm starting to see fans who are like, oh, well, of course, Bianca's going to win the belt. I'm getting tired of her, too. But yet at SummerSlam, everybody was upset that Becky Lynch came back and beat Bianca Belair. So now I'm kind of curious as like how fans are going to, you know, you know, how they're going to react to this. So, <laughs> I mean, I, look, Bailey's on the shelf, Sasha Banks. I they, they probably could work Sasha Banks into one of those matches. I don't know, but we'll see what happens. I know Bailey's set to come back soon, so hopefully she's back in the mix as well. Other than that, I'm mostly curious to what they're going to do with Seth Rollins. I assume Drew McIntyre, who's my guy, I assume Drew McIntyre is going to fight Corbin. Just storyline wise, it makes the most sense. And to me, it's kind of a throwaway match, but I'm, uh, but I know like they're friends in real life, so I'm happy they get to go and do battle. It's Seth Rollins, I rumor was he's supposed to fight Shane McMahon. Doesn't look like that's gonna happen now, so I'm curious what's that gonna do. But comment down below in the comments, tell me how what you guys think of the WrestleMania card. I know some of you think it's all trash or whatever. Here, I don't really do no uh, allegiance to AEW or WWE. To me, I call it how I see it. So if I think I think both are okay right now at best to be honest i don't think either one of them are great to be honest i know a lot of people like one and don't like the other i'm not really like that i think the wrestling industry as a whole right now is kind of stagnant but we'll see what happens uh but maybe they even put cody into the mix so comment below what's your thoughts going forward um tell me what other wrestling topics to talk about i love wrestling I've been watching wrestling for over 27 years now so it is what it is so i'm um, jb we out peace